And we appreciate all of y'all coming out. And if the Lemons family would be so kind to give us the words we've been waiting for. Right. Gentlemen, start your engine! God bless Dale Lemons and the family. Let's go racing 50 laps here at Langley Speedway for the 19th annual NX Asphalt Nationals at Langley Speedway. Ladies and gentlemen, to make the call, here's Mike Gallant. And thank you, Chuck. Yes, it's going to be exciting. Daniel Hemrick up front with Kyle Beatty, those two guys very fast. And then Doug Stevens, Stephen Ross, Cameron Patrick in the top five. And we'll get one to go this next time by. Bill Mullis will be up there to throw the green flag for this event. The pros at Langley Speedway, a 50-lap event. Daniel Hemrick will lead the field. Kyle Beatty in the 84. Stephen Ross is 76. Doug Stevens, 77. Cameron Patrick in the 20 car. Thomas Hardensfeld in 31. Travis Braden in the 1A. David Mose, the third in the three. And then you've got Rhett Causey, 33. Andrew Smith in the top 10 in 62. Sam McCauley, the 12 car in 11th. Nick Carey, 33. Brad Hancock, the 17. Evan Swilling, the 1. Casey Roderick in the 47. Donald McIntosh in 7M. 13 is Brian Ometti. And then you've got 25, Anthony Flannery. Kyle Resco in the 0-2. Steve Kesey, the 0. Stephen Cantrell. And the rest of the field, they take the green flag. And we're underway for the Pro Division for the NX Nationals at Langley Speedway. Oh, big crash! One car flips over two, three times. Hard crash. And let's pray that he is okay. My goodness, what a crash in between turns one and two. We don't even complete one lap. Rescue is on the scene, on the spot, and we'll get over there and make sure that he is all right. But a horrible crash between turns one and two. The other drivers get out to make sure that he is all right. Steve Kesey over there to check on that driver. Unbelievable. And we'll just sit here and wait and see, make sure that that driver is okay. We're being told that it is Evan Swilling in the one car. He is awake and conscious. That is the good news. He knows what's going on. We're trying to get him cut out of the vehicle and uh, take every precaution that they can to make sure that he is safe and healthy and uh, at least to get him out of the car and get him to uh, the attention that he needs. So we'll uh, once again, we'll keep the speakers quiet here for a few minutes as they attend to Evan Swilling, driver of car one, and gave the thumbs up to his crew, so that's good news. We're going to try and redo this as we have Bill Mullis up there in the flag stand ready to wave that green flag yet once again. Kyle Beatty, Daniel Hemrick, the top two drivers that will take the green flag before anyone else. And our Legends pace car about to go down pit road. The NX Nationals continue the final race of the nighttime, a 50 lap event for the pros. The pro division is underway. Once again, a 50 lap event. They make their way now between turns one and two. Three wide, a little bit further back here for about seventh or eighth position. One car kicked up high, and we will complete one lap. 21 and 84 going at it for the lead. Kyle Beatty and Daniel Hemrick. Stephen Ross up to the third spot. Travis Brayton in the 1A. He's up to fourth. He won one of those races of champions last night. That's the 1A, and he's up to fourth. Doug Stevens, the 77, coming up to the front. Rhett Causey in 33 as well. Pressure by the 62 of Andrew Smith. Down the back straightaway, still got a group of cars racing two by two. Back there for about the 15th and 16th position.
A crash, a fire between turns one and two. One car erupts in flames and goes out very quickly. The driver gets out of that vehicle. And, uh, well, hopefully he's all right. Looks like he is, but we might have something on the racetrack between turns one and two where that uh, engine erupted and went up fast, too. Had some great races here for the NX Nationals at Langley Speedway tonight. This is the final one, trying to get to lap number 50. Cameron Patrick in the sixth position in car 20. Red Causey, the 33, is seventh. Andrew Smith, 62, is eighth. Nick Carey, the 33, is ninth. David Mose, the third, is in tenth. Casey Roderick, the 47, 11th. Taylor Hull, 82, is 12th. Sam McCauley, the 12 car, 13th. Stephen Cantrell, the 28th. Kyle Resco, 0, 2. Chance Rice, in 36. Thomas Hartensfeld was the one that uh, had that eruption underneath the automobile in the 31. He was in 17th. Brian, we met right there in the 13. And here we go. Green flag flies. We're back underway trying to get to lap 50 for the pros. Tight racing nose to tail as they exit turn number two, especially back here for about the seventh and eighth position. And then there's a little bit of gap between eighth and ninth. But up front, it's going to be Kyle Beatty who leads, but not by much. Daniel Hemrick all over the back end of that machine for the lead. A couple of cars getting a little squirrely back here. And here goes a couple up the racetrack. The 1A up against the wall. Travis Brayton, but he gets it back underway. And he loses about seven or eight positions now. Caught on the outside. That's the 1A, Travis Brayton. Very exciting races out here at Langley Speedway. That 1A, he's all the way back to about 11th or 12th. Shown back in 11th, now possibly 12th position as he has a challenge down to the inside. That is the 12 of Sam McCauley. Front two cars pull away. Kyle Beatty, the 84, Daniel Hemrick in 21. Great race back for about the sixth position now. And fifth, Stephen Ross back there, Andrew Smith, Rhett Causey. Front two cars right there, nose to tail, and three wide in between one and two, a little bit further back here as they scramble for positions. Red Causey in the 33 down low. There's David Mose and uh, Nick Carey in 33. 47, Casey Roderick trying to get by Nick Carey in 33. And here goes a pass for the fourth position now. Cameron Patrick gets passed by Andrew Smith in car 62. The NX Nationals has definitely lived up to all the hype that you've been hearing about for the past couple of months. It's been a great three days and, of course, a lot of great action today in every single one of these different pro, semi-pro, masters, and young Lions races. Side-by-side -side action back here about midway through the field. Sam McCauley, Travis Brayton, Steve Cantrell, Chance Rice, David Mose, Bryant, we met. And the caution flag is out for a spin over between three and four. Gets it turned around and is back underway. And that is the 0-2 car of Kyle Resco. He was in 17th when that happened. As we get down to the end of the season for the championships, and we still have a lot of races to go October 23rd and October the 30th. The fifth annual Night of Destruction is October the 30th. The UCAR Super Street Showdown is October 23rd. One lap to go until that green flag will fly. Next week, the 2010 point season comes to a conclusion as champions are crowned in the B&C Seafood Modifieds. The Pepsi Grand Stocks, Fan Club Super Streets, Larry King Law Super Trucks, 
Easy Auto of Newport News U Cars and the Enduro Division. So don't miss it. That's next weekend at Langley Speedway. Go to langley-speedway.com for all the details. Back underway, here's the green flag. Cameron Patrick looking to make a move on the 62 of Andrew Smith for that fourth position, three wide between turns one and two. One car down on the apron. Battle for the lead, here goes the 21 of Daniel Hamrick trying to get to the inside of Kyle Beatty. And again, looks on the inside, down the front straight away. Red Causey, he's up there racing side by side, trying to take away the sixth position. Casey Roderick up to the seventh spot in car 47. Now back to eighth. And a battle again for the lead between the 21 and 84. Daniel Hemrick takes the lead. Here goes the 77, Doug Stevens. He wants to get up there and possibly get a lead. And the 62, Andrew Smith, now fights for the third spot with the 84 of Kyle Beatty. Rhett Causey and Cameron Patrick in car 20. They've raced each other out here at Langley Speedway before. Battle for the fifth spot. Taylor Hull right there just outside the top five. And Travis Brayton moving his way back up. He's in eighth. Seventy six car is in the pit. Stephen Ross. Thomas Hartensfeld out of this race. Evan Swilling and Donald McIntosh and Justin Swilling. Sixteen laps working on lap number 17. Daniel Hemrick with a comfortable lead. He's the guy that went down to Charlotte and won all that money in the big legends race they had and a caution flag is out. Caution flag comes out, everybody gets slowed up. And Kyle Beatty in the 84, North Carolina driver. Cameron Patrick, a regular here at Langley Speedway from Williamsburg. It's Rick Causey and Taylor Hall will be at the rear of the field along with that 47 car and we're able to make some repairs on the 47 and get Casey Roderick back out. And now we will go in a half a lap. Legends brought to you by Z-Max. Keep your car in great shape with Z-Max. Sponsoring the Legends division here at Langley Speedway. NX Legends. 17 laps out of 50, we're back underway. There's the green flag. And back up front, it's a heated battle again with those top three drivers, Daniel Hemmer, Doug Stevens, and Andrew Smith. Twenty-five and twelve going at it. That's Anthony Flannery and Sam McCauley. That is a battle for the twelfth position. And also a battle shaping up here for the fourth position. Kyle Beatty trying to hang on to it. He's got pressure from that 20 of Cameron Patrick, though. Looking on the inside of the exit of turn four, followed very closely by Travis Brayton, who's done a great job to fight his way back up into the sixth position, possibly fifth, if he can get by Cameron Patrick. The 84, the 20, and the A1 going at it. Kyle Beatty, Cameron Patrick, and Travis Brayton for that fourth position. Top three strung out just a little bit. Daniel Hemrick continues to lead in car 21 over Doug Stevens in the 77, and Andrew Smith in car 62. Brian, we met in Chase Rice with a great race. That's the 36, and that 13. Nick Carey just ahead in car 33. But up front, showing the way, Daniel Hemrick. We will be halfway in about three laps. Here we go. Once again on the back straightaway, the A1 coming back up to the front, Travis Brayton. And a little bit of contact here. Cameron Patrick slides up the racetrack. Four cars get by him. Cameron falls back to 10th. 
36 car gets almost off the racetrack. Chance Rice. Cameron now trying to get by the inside of that number 13 of Ryan we met. Some of the best legend drivers in the country right here at Langley Speedway and you're seeing why some great driving going on with these guys and girls throughout the entire weekend. We are one lap past halfway as they make their way across the start finish line a little bit of trouble over here between three and four caution flag is out. Looks like that is the 47 car involved in this. That is Casey Roderick again in 47. Couple of cars coming into the pits. And the 18. That is Ryan Johnson also into the pits again. One driver going over to the 47 car. And also waiting for another driver to come by. He's asking him, what's up, dude? Daniel Hemrick, the 21 car leads. Doug Stevens in the 77. When we go back to the green flag, first and second. Just outside the top 10, David Mose in the 3D. The 10, the 17, and 0, 2. And that is Michael Paul Kelly. Kyle Resco. The field will tighten up on the back straightaway. Pace car driven by Matt Mullins all weekend long. We'll go down pit road. Zero one's going to come back out. It looks like Tyler Lester in the zero one back out on the racetrack. As they're about to take the green flag and we're back underway halfway through this event. They snake their way now between turns one and two. The entire field on the back straight away. Tyler Lester just ahead of these guys and pieces and parts flying off the race cars. We got a spin in between the exit of turn number four and the front straightaway. And it, it does involve that 3D. And that's David Mose. We got a lot of debris over there in turn four. They'll need to clean up before we can get back underway. We go back to lap 25, the last green flag completed lap. So we will try to work on lap 26 when they will take the green flag. And here we go. Good restart for the 21 of Daniel Hemrick. His foot in the gas, but everybody behind him stays right with him at the exit of turn number two down the back straightaway. Here goes Travis Brayton again, looking on the inside of the 62 of Andrew for that third position. And he will take it at the exit of turn four. Scrambling back here for positions and something not right with the 17 of Brad Hancock. He is off the pace. He gets his car off the racing surface down on the access road. Top eight cars hanging right there together. Top four trying to pull away. Daniel Hemrick, Doug Stevens, Travis Brayton, and Kyle Beatty. A lot of smoke coming out of the back end of that 33 car of Nick Carey, the red 33. He stays on the racetrack, though, with smoke still continuing to come out of the side of that machine. That's the 33 machine back near the rear of the field. Looks like it might be tire smoke where he got into somebody. Daniel Hemrick with a comfortable lead now. It's about three car lengths ahead of Doug Stevens in that 77 on lap 29. Scrambling for positions back here. Three wide down the back straightaway.
Taylor Hall down to the inside. Now he slips up to the outside as they battle and scramble for positions just behind him. Back up into the top five. Still got a great race between Travis Brayton and the 1A and Doug Stevens in that 77. Andrew Smith back in the fifth position just behind Kyle Beatty in the 84. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh right there together. Caution flag comes out again. Got some debris on the racetrack, and there is the 18 car back into the pits. Ryan Johnson. Some of those still on the racetrack near the rear of the field. Light is out on the pace car. They can get the debris. And we'll get the green. 18 rejoins the field. Ryan Johnson back there in the 19th position. Red Causey will join the field at the end of the line. Brett is about five laps down. Green flag. Flag is back out. 31 laps completed. Back underway at Langley Speedway. The green flag flying in the breeze. And here we go. Down the back straightaway. Great battle for the fourth position. And a scramble back here between the 82, the zero. And that 3D, man, they're going at it down the back straightaway. 82 and 3D, David Mose and Taylor Hall. And 62 and 84, back to the fourth position, Kyle Beatty and Andrew Smith. Kyle Beatty fourth, Andrew back in fifth in the 62. And here we go for second. Travis Brayton doing all he can to get by Doug Stevens for that second position now. And right behind these guys, they continue to battle it out and lean on each other a little bit. That's the 84, Kyle Beatty and Andrew Smith again. Chance Rice is right there, too, in car 36. Top three cars right there, very close together with 35 laps completed. 18 with a lot of smoke coming out of that car. He's on pit road. Ryan Johnson. Engine is done on that one. And a spin and a crash between three and four. We still got them crashing. Steve Kesey also with the damage on the zero car. He comes to a stop on pit road. Got a little bit of a fire down at the end of pit road they need to take care of. Thirty six laps completed and uh, once again another big wreck in between turns three and four. Here we go, a half lap, and the green flag comes out again. Lap 35, and it's been a wild race here for this pro division. D3 sits on pit road. That is the 3D machine. And uh, looks like he might try and get back out, but I don't think so. Green flag flies, and they scramble for positions as we get down to the end of this race. One car all the way down on the apron trying to make a move. That is Chance in the 36, Chance Rice. He had his fastest lap on lap 35. The leader of the race had the fastest lap that he turned all night on lap 34. And he's up front showing the way. That's Daniel Hemrick in the 21. Doug Stevens now pressuring for that lead down the back straightaway.
Down the front straightaway, Daniel Hemmert leads Doug Stevens, Travis Braden, Kyle Beatty, Andrew Smith, Chance Rice, Stephen Cantrell, Mike Paul Kelly, Taylor Hall up to the ninth position ahead of Cameron Patrick in the 20 car. Brett Causey down low, he's back in the race. He is a few laps down. Top three trying to get away from the field. That's Daniel Hemrick still leading in the 21 car. Travis Brayton. He's got a very fast car. He had the fastest lap out of the top five that time. Travis Brayton in the 1A. Scramble back here for the second and the fourth position. Here goes Travis trying to make his move for that second spot and possibly challenge for the lead, but he can't quite get underneath the 77 of Doug Stevens. And here we go for third position. The 1A slips. Travis Brayton falling back. He's got a problem. Had one of the fastest cars here the last few laps. Now he's all the way at the rear of the field with a problem in the 1A, Travis Braden. And he will take it into the pits. Tough, tough night for Travis. Back on the racetrack, battle for the fourth position. Chance Rice gets to the inside of Kyle Beatty in the 84. Kyle holds him off. A little bit further back. Cameron Patrick and the 13, Brian, we met. Brian, we met just ahead of the 33. Cameron Patrick, of course, 33 is several laps down. That's Rhett Causey, the black 33. Tim will show him five laps to go. Bailey Curry going at it with Brian. We met 13 as we get down to the end of this race. They race side by side down the back straightaway in a side by side battle between the 36 of Chance Rice and Kyle Beatty for that fourth spot. Now in a spin, 62 spins around, slammed in two, and another car flips over several times. That is the 20 car of Cameron Patrick. My goodness, what another big wreck we've had. This one over there between turns one and two again as we get down to the final few laps. Cameron Patrick goes for a spin in car number 20. Rescue is on the scene once again. And we'll let them take care of that. 62, he initially spun. He was up there in the top three. Twenty sixty two and 82, the drivers involved. 62, Andrew Smith, looks like his car is all right. The driver is okay. And then you have the 20. 20 of Cameron Patrick. Another big wreck over in turns one and two tonight, right there at the uh, entrance to turn one. 82 also involved in this. And that was Taylor Hull up there in the top eight before this happened. Good news, Cameron Patrick is okay in car 20, the one that took the big tumble. True testament to these legends cars and the safety measures they take to make sure the drivers are well protected. Cameron Patrick, a true testament to that. And Evan Swilling also earlier tonight in the one car.
They've been doing some twisting. They've been doing some shouting. They've been doing some wrecking and some flipping. But we are about ready to wrap this one up, hopefully. Four laps to go for the Pro Division here at Langley Speedway, the UNX Nationals. And it has been a wild night. Here we go. Green flag about to fly once again. Daniel Hemrick will lead him down. He's led most of this race. He's out front where he wants to be. But here goes 77, Doug Stevens making a move. Now between turns one and two, he stays right to the back bumper. Kyle Beattie is there too in the 84 and Chance Rice in 36. Looking on the inside with just a few laps to go. Doug Stevens headed to the front. Doug Stevens stays right there on the bottom of the racetrack, right next to that 21 machine. He gets a good bite at the exit of turn two, but is it enough to stay ahead? No, he gets spun. They both slam in the wall in turn three. Kyle Beatty will take the lead in 84, just ahead of the number 36 of Chance Rice. Racing for the lead here. They get together and crash and end up in the wall in turn three. A lot of torn up race cars at the end of the night here at Langley Speedway for this pro division. Checking on the driver to make sure he's all right. 77. Doug Stevens got into that lead driver, the 21. Daniel Hemrick. Kyle Beatty, the 84. Was up there right behind these guys. Don't know if he made contact with the 77, but Pretty tight racing up there for the lead. And they will put the 84 at the rear of the field. Kyle Beatty will go to the rear of the field. They say he got into that 77, which eventually got into the 21. And Daniel Hemrick. All right, here we go. Getting down to the final race, final end of this race too. 47 is what we have up in lights for the laps. 36, the number for the car of Chance Rice. Looking for that victory. Some hungry guys just behind him though. The 28, Stephen Cantrell, Michael Paul Kelly in the 10. Brian Weymet in the 13, Bailey Curry, the 05. And here we go. Green flag is out. Who's it gonna be? 28 all over the back end of Chance Rice. Chance once again heads down the back straightaway. He's got a fast car. He pulls ahead by about a car length over the 28. Started the race with 30 cars, and you see how many we have left. Nine cars, is that it? 10 cars. Here we go. White flag is out. Battle for the lead. 13, Brian Omet and uh, Michael Paul Kelly battling it out for the third position. Brian Omet right there in the third spot. Here we go. Final lap to the checkered flag. Who's it going to be? Chance Rice wins over the 28 of Stephen Cantrell. Chance Rice all the way up to the top spot. After those guys battling for the lead, had a problem, but he was in the right place at the right time. And he gets the checkered flag and he will get the trophy too, as they will make their way to the Dale Lemons victory lane. Chance Rice, the winner over Stephen Cantrell, Brian Waymet, and Michael Paul Kelly, Bailey Curry, the top five, and Chris Dilbeck in the nine, Kyle Beatty in 84, Kyle Resco, 0-2, Tyler Lester in the 0-1. Daniel Hemrick, by the way, ended up finishing in the 10th spot. And the 77, Doug Stevens, the 77 was 11. Let's go down trackside and get a word with the top five. And Chuck Hall making his way over to that 0-5 of Bailey Curry. Winner of the race once again, Chance Rice.
Paley, I got to ask you, it's been a long night, hasn't it, buddy? It sure has. I just want to thank 860 Motorsports and my parents for helping me out this weekend. I know you're watching a lot of things going on, and, you know, we started this race with 30 cars, ended up with like 10 or 11. You were one of the Ford's winners, but you put it on the podium, man. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I know you got a lot of people to help you out as well. Yes, sir, uh, 860, and my parents, and everybody who just helped me out this weekend, the Alcaros for giving me, or loaning me their motor. Just everybody who's helped me out this weekend, just a big thanks to them. Bailey, congratulations, fifth. Not bad for this young man. Expect to see him soon up front. Well, I tell you what, you, you're doing everything you got to there, Paul. You, got, you, you had a winning car last night. You finished fourth in the semi-pro, and you come up here. You get a fourth as well. Good job for you. Yeah, I appreciate it. I really didn't expect it, you know, but uh, like I said, we were going to come from the back, and uh, we did. We got up to the third there for a minute, and uh, the wizard got by us, but I think we had something for Cantrell. Um, but these guys are the best of the best, and it's uh, a good feeling to be out here. Thanks to RS Trucking, Richard Center, RS Center, and Teresa Center, and, and Javier who came with us, helped us out. Without those guys, none of this would have been possible. Good show in fourth position hey chuck four out of the five uh, the top five came from that b main race wow hey let's talk to the wizard right here in third place the 13 it, it was a long one a process of elimination you were consistent you held it there you come home and put it third tonight it was a long race <laughs> i was i that was just wow <laughs> uh i just want to thank james edwards and mystery performance for giving me this awesome car that I had tonight. If I had got, gotten a little bit more luck, that I was one of the fastest ones out there. Uh, just You want to do another national at Langley Speedway? Dark, definitely. <laughs> Absolutely. He'll take it home, the Wizard and the 13 car. Stephen Cantrell is our outside guy. Where is he at? Uh, he's up there talking. Stephen, what a battle. You, you, you're consistent, you're patient, you hold your line, and you're bringing home second here for the Nationals in 2010. Yeah, it was a crazy day. We uh, uh, qualified really bad, you know, won our heat race, got second in the B, and uh, started 22nd and had to fight up through there. You know, got a couple lucky breaks, but, you know, we wind up second tonight. It's pretty good. Second place, Stephen Cantrell. Let's talk about this guy here. Hey, haven't I seen you here before today? Ladies and gentlemen, he won the B main earlier, and he goes two for two at Langley Speedway, and he is, ladies and gentlemen, your 2010 19th annual Z-Max Asphalt National Champion. Here he is, <laughs> Chance Rice, right here, ladies and gentlemen. Man. Are you, are you just wore out, sleepy? I mean, that was a long, long race. But, you, man, I tell you what, you held your own. You put it right here in victory lane. Congratulations. I don't even know what to say. I'm speechless. Uh, uh, I'd like to thank uh, my dad for setting up the car, my Uncle Rick for helping us throughout the season, my mom coming down here, Ever, all the Michigan guys, Matt Todd for letting us use his right side tires. Uh, it's just the uh, biggest win in my career. And I tell you what, they had like T-shirts made next year for the 2011, and your name's going to be up there with some great names. Yeah, I've always wanted to have my name on one of those T-shirts, so finally I get to have that. All right, let's see if your fans are happy. Fans, are y'all happy? <laughs> Chance, congratulations. You are the champion here 2010 at Langley Speedway. Chance Rice, everybody. <laughs> 